Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I am available for on-site training, code reviews, and contracting. So I was recently teaching a class on C++ and I mentioned that Lambdas are objects like any other object in C++ and they have their own lifetime and their captures have their own lifetime. And that led one of my students to asking, is it possible to access the captures of a lambda from outside of the lambda? And I said, no, 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 that's not possible. And I demonstrated with a simple example like this. And I went to access this value, and I said dot .vel. And I noticed something interesting happened. I got an error from the compiler that said, this lambda has no member named vel. Did you mean underscore underscore vel? So let's see. Why, yes, I did mean underscore underscore vel. So it seems that GCC's abstractions are leaking into our warnings and into our C code. So let's see, can we reassign this value? We can. And this becomes kind of weird because this vel arguably should be const. Now, it is not actually the capture that is const. It is the call operator on the lambda that is const in the case of a non-mutable lambda, but it still messes with our minds about how these things work. So if we make this return our vel, and let's go ahead and enable optimizations, and now we want to return the result of calling our lambda, we can see that 4 is returned. So we've been able to manipulate the state of this lambda from outside of the lambda, which I think raises an interesting question of why aren't the captures accessible from outside the lambda? And on the other hand, I will also note that I was unable to get any kind of similar warning or response from Clang. But this further made me wonder what other abstractions are leaking into our C++ world. So I thought I would create a simple ranged for loop. And I'm just using standard array with C++17's class type te template deduction. And, well, let us iterate over the elements of this array. So we're doing that. And let's go ahead and I don't know, let's sum these values up and return the summation here. So this summation should be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. We're getting 15 returned from main. We can see that over here. What is the leaky abstraction that I'm looking for here? It is the fact that a ranged for loop is actually saving the begin and end iterators and the array thing or the range that it was actually looping over. So let's just go ahead and try underscore underscore four. And we get a few interesting things here. Suggested alternative underscore underscore uflow. I have absolutely no idea what that's in reference to. Perhaps underflow. But let's look at, well, we know that it needs to store the begin. So we put this in here, and now we get the suggested alternative, underscore, underscore, for, underscore, begin. Well, that is interesting. So this is the begin iterator for our ranged for loop. Now, I have no idea if we can manipulate this, but let's just see if we can. Let's put it here and say, just for the fun of it, that it equals the end iterator. And... Well, that compiled, and now our main is an infinite loop. That's not exactly what one might expect. If our underscore underscore for underscore begin is a reference, and end is a reference, I don't know what it's doing there, why it would be generating infinite loop. Let's see if we can try to skip every other one, or something like this. Seems like that might be able to work. Now that's still an infinite loop. So we can jump into this and manipulate it and see what kinds of things we're getting from here. And we can perhaps get other different warnings from the compiler. We have 
for underscore end it's suggesting here. We had already played with that one. There's also the for range, which should be the temporary variable that is being used to hold the ARR here for the sake of generating the ranged for loop. So definitely getting some abstractions from our ranged for loops in GCC leaking in to our C++ code. I don't know, again, what else there is here. I tried playing with a few other things where I know that the compiler kind of has to act as if it has done this other thing for us. But these were the only two I was able to come up with. Go ahead, post some comments, some links, if you come up with some interesting ways to abuse this. You absolutely cannot rely on this working on real code. The uh, It is basically undefined behavior to rely on anything that has one of the reserved identifiers with un double underscores in it. But um, yeah, there you go. That's our leaky abstractions from GCC that I was unable to get reproduced on any other compiler, but on many different versions of GCC. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.